Roses are one, of course, the top sellers on Valentine's Day, but sometimes they just don't last as long as you would like. That's right. This morning, Garden Guy Del K is showing off some alternatives to roses that will give you a bit more bang for your buck. G'day everyone, Valentine's Day right around the corner and it seems like a lot of the Valentine's Day gifts that we give and receive tend to not last very long. Steak dinner, that's done in about half an hour. Chocolates, well, that could be over in even less time. And even your traditional cut roses, really, they don't last that long. So if you want to make love bloom longer, there are some alternatives that you can get from your favorite local garden shop. Let's take a look at some of my favorites. I'm just going to pop these flowers out of the way. And don't get me wrong, I do love roses, but these blooms will definitely last longer. So let's take a look at some tropicals first. Hiding down here is a bromeliad. And this is actually a bract. This colorful leaf here is a bract, much like a poinsettia leaf, I guess. Very similar. Uh, the flower itself is this little yellow thing here. It, it hasn't quite opened yet. So this one here um, is the actual flower, but the bract itself lasts for a long time. Same with anthriniums right here. These also last a long time. You'll find that this mod uh, modified leaf um, will remain uh, that nice shiny red color. And actually, the, the actual modified leaf itself looks like a heart. It's got kind of a heart shape to it as well, which is quite nice. You'll find these in pinks and also whites. Also, orchids are another great plant that you can incorporate not only into your home for Valentine's Day, but really just about any day of the year. I like to call them like jewelry as far as plants go because they are so luxurious and they do last a long time, which is kind of fun. Also, cyclamen, another great cool season uh, plant that you'll also find in reds, whites, and pinks. So this one here makes a wonderful choice for plants. Also, you can take really any type of heart leaf plant. And you know, if you've got your favorite coffee mug, actually, I like this coffee mug. You can just pop a little plant in there and that is almost like love in a little coffee, uh, love in a little coffee cup, which is quite nice. I've got some more orchid gardens here. They're kind of spectacular, last a long time. Another plant that I want to show you here, it's called Calancho. It's uh, from the succulent family, so it's uh, quite bulletproof when it comes to care. It doesn't, it doesn't demand a lot of water or a lot of attention. When it's in, when it's in flower like this, a little bit of sun, but apart from that, um, really easy to take care of. And you'll also find these in kind of your traditional Valentine's Day colors, pinks, whites, and reds. Of course, you can take them all and put them into a basket. If you want to, uh, you know, if you've got somebody that loves a green thumb, loves taking care of different types of plants, um, simply popping them into a basket and having a variety of plants is really cool. Um, Calatheas is another great uh, foliage plant. I have one in the basket here, but they have some, this particular one has a pink margin in the leaf, which uh, is kind of like a nice little Valentine's Day color. The Hoya here, again, another coffee cup, and the heart, sheep, uh, heart leaf Hoya is kind of nestled in there. And then also I have a philodendron right here with that traditional heart-shaped leaf. So with any of these, you can't go wrong. They make not only great Valentine's Day gifts, but they will also last a lot longer through the season um, than just a couple of weeks or less. Back to you.